A dogfight between two aircraft is perhaps the most fascinating type of combat. The technical knowledge and precision required to operate a fighter aircraft combined with the physical and mental strain of a dogfight, make the fighter pilots who excel at them truly exceptional. Unofficially, a flying ace is a fighter pilot who shoots down at least five enemy aircraft, though the number, a single pilot can achieve has steadily decreased, because anti-aircraft and tracking technology has made dogfights rare in modern warfare. From World War I, to Operation Desert Storm, these are the most effective aviators in the history of aerial warfare. Cesar Rodriguez. Gulf War. Even though Cesar Rico Rodriguez didn't achieve five aerial victories, generally considered the cutoff for ace pilots. He did achieve three in the 1990s, tying three other USAF pilots for most since the Vietnam War. All of Rodriguez's aerial victories were accomplished in an F-15 Eagle fighter jet. His first kill came in the Gulf War when Rodriguez's wingman, Craig Underhill, had a computer malfunction that prevented him from firing an AAM-7 Sparrow radar guided missile on an Iraqi Mikian MiG-29. Rodriguez then engaged the Iraqi pilot in a turning fight, spiraling toward the ground. When the Iraqi pilot attempted to disengage with a split S maneuver, which involves flipping the aircraft upside down and executing a descending half loop, he crashed into the ground. Rodriguez was credited with a maneuvering kill. Rodriguez's second kill, also an Iraqi MiG-29 in the Gulf War, was achieved with an AAM-7 air-to-air missile. His third credited kill came in the 1999 Kosovo War, when Rodriguez shot down a Serbian MiG-28, that had taken off to resist NATO's air attack on the first night of the campaign. Rodriguez is widely known as the last American ace. Jora Epstein, Arab-Israeli Wars Israeli fighter pilot Jora Epstein is the ace of aces for supersonic fighter jets and of the Israeli Air Force. His 17 victories are the most of any pilot in A the modern fighter jet era. Epstein earned the nickname Hawkeye for his acute eyesight, and it was said among the Israeli military that he could spot an enemy aircraft, 24 miles out, about three times farther than other pilots. His first kill was against an Egyptian Sukhoi Su-7 in the famous Six-Day War, when Egypt, Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, and Iraq declared war on Israel with the support of essentially the entire Middle East, but Israel used its significant technological advantage in aerial warfare to destroy the Arab countries' airfields and end the war in just six days. Epstein downed four more aircraft in the War of Attrition, and achieved his remaining 12 victories in the Yom Kippur War in 1973, again against Egypt and Syria. Nine of his victories were in an Israeli Ia Nesha, while the other eight came in a Delta Wing Mirage III aircraft. Most of his kills were accomplished with cannon fire, though Epstein downed five aircraft with air-to-air -air missiles. Charles B. de Bellevue, Vietnam War Charles B. de Bellevue was the top-scoring American airman in the Vietnam War with a total of six kills, and he was the first Air Force weapons systems officer to earn ace status. Only four other American aviators achieved ace status in Vietnam. De Bellevue flew in a F-4D Phantom II, supersonic jet with a secret APX-80 electronics system codenamed the Combat Tree. The Combat Tree could pick up IFF signals from MiGs, and determine their location while the enemy aircraft were still beyond visual range. De Bellevue scored his first four victories with pilot Steve Ritchie, including an AAM-7 Sparrow missile strike from roughly four miles out, an incredibly long-range hit. The last two victories came with pilot John A. Madden. Madden and De Bellevue were pursuing two MiG-19s when De Bellevue scored his last kill. He later described the encounter. We fired one AAM-9 missile which detonated 25 feet from one of the MiG-19s. We switched the attack to the other MiG-19, and one turn later we fired an AAM-9 at him. I observed the missile impact the tail of the MiG. The MiG continued normally for the next few seconds, 
then began a slow roll and spiraled downward, impacting the ground with a large fireball. Muhammad Mahmud Alam, Indo-Pakistani War Muhammad Mahmud Alam, was a Pakistani Air Force jet fighter pilot in the Indo-Pakistani War of 1965. He was the last fighter pilot to become an ace in a day, shooting down five Indian Hawker Hunter fighter jets in less than a minute on September 7, 1965. The last four of which he downed within 30 seconds. A national hero in Pakistan, Alam holds the world record for becoming an ace in the shortest amount of time. This bold feat also makes him the only jet pilot to become an ace in one day. Alam was already a respected leader and proficient pilot and gunner when the war started in 1965. He piloted an F-86 Sabre and downed a total of nine Indian Hawker Hunters in the 1965 war, as well as damaging two others. James Jobara, Korean War James Jobara was a United States Air Force fighter pilot in World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. In World War II, Jobara flew a P-51 Mustang on two combat tours and scored one and a half victories, one shared victory, against German aircraft. In April 1951, during the Korean War, Jobara shot down four Soviet-built MiG-15 jets, in an F-86 Sabre with .50 caliber machine gun fire. He voluntarily joined, the 335th Fighter Interceptor Squadron to stay in Korea when his own squadron returned to America. In May, Jobara was flying to support an aerial battle in Mig Alley, an area of northwestern North Korea, when he tried to jettison his spare fuel tank to decrease weight and improve maneuverability, but the tank did not separate from the wing entirely. Protocol would have Jobara returned to base, as the maneuverability of his aircraft was compromised, but he decided to press on. Jobara successfully scored two more victories over MiG-15s despite his aircraft's disadvantage, making him the first American jet ace in history. After Korea, Jobara rose through the ranks of the Air Force to become the youngest colonel at the time. He flew with an F-100 Super Sabre flight group in Vietnam, on a bombing run that damaged buildings held by the Viet Cong. He finished his career with 16.5 total aerial victories. Eric Hartmann, World War II Bobby to the Germans and the Black Devil to the Soviets, Eric Hartmann is the ace of aces, with more aerial combat victories than any other pilot in history. He shot down an astounding 352 enemy aircraft, during his career as a fighter pilot for the Luftwaffe, the aerial warfare branch of the German military in World War II. Hartmann crash-landed his damaged fighter on 14 separate occasions, though each crash-landing was due to mechanical failure or damage caused by debris from an enemy aircraft Hartmann had downed. In his 1,404 combat missions, Hartmann was never forced to land due to enemy fire. He flew a Messerschmitt Bf 109 and was continuously developing his skills as a stalk and ambush fighter. Unlike some of his German comrades, he didn't rely on accurate deflection shooting, which involves leading the target with gunfire, so the projectile and aircraft collide, but instead used the high-powered engine of his Mi-109 to achieve quick sweeps and approaches, even diving through entire enemy formations on occasion. That's it from the Global Defense Forum for today. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification button, for more videos from the Global Defense Forum.